everyone welcome back today we are going to discuss the structure of a basic module in oro 17 you know no a module is a way to organize and package your custom functionality including data models views menus and business logic understanding the structure of an oro module is essential for developing and maintaining custom application within the oro framework today demonstrate a basic module in Oro 17. Inside the module, there exists a Python file called init.py. It is used to initialize your module and it is mandatory in each and every module you create. Inside it, you have to import all the Python files that you are going to use. In addition to the init file, there exists another Python file known as manifest. The manifest file is the heart of your module and it contains metadata and configuration information about the module. The manifest file include details such as module's name, version, author, dependencies and a list of data files that should be loaded when the module is installed, etc. The next important directory is models, which is a Python package. This directory contains Python files defining data models and business logic. Models are defined as a Python classes that inherit from models.model. Fields, methods, and constraints related to your data models are defined in this file. And you have to import all these Python files in init file. Next, we have views. This directory contains XML files that define the views for your data models. Views describe how the data should be displayed in the user interface. Various types of views such as form views, tree views, campaign views can be defined here. And next we have security. The security directory typically used to define the security rules and access controls for various models and records within an auto module. This directory include a CSV file that specify who can read, write, create or delete records in the auto DB. Next directory is static. You can include static assets like JS, CSS, QF templates, image files in this directory if your module require custom front-end enhancements. And next we have demo directory. This directory is used to define demo data. Demo data is used for creating Sample records during module installation to showcase how the module works. If your module requires data files for various purposes such as for different records or actions, you can include them in this data directory. Next, we have controllers. The controllers directory is for controllers. Controllers are used to configure the front-end modules under the website, uh, these front-end modules are integrated with back-end modules. So, using controllers, you can specify the URL to link the web pages. If your module requires reports, then you can use the report directory. Inside the report directory, you can include the report action, report views, and report related functions. Next, we have wizards. Wizards are kind of pop-ups. So, if your module requires pop-ups or wizards, then you can include it in the wizard directory. So, that's about the module directories. 